Hello and uh, welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Friday. Today we will look at something called investment tranches. So uh, many times when you are raising money from investors, so suppose uh, let's assume like you are raising about uh, one and a half million dollar for a five million dollar valuation. So the investor may not give you the whole one and a half million dollar in a single go. They could split that money into two, three or four tranches. So, so, so let's look at like, say, for example, uh, today they are giving you say about 400 K. Um, after six months, they commit to give you another 500 K and the balance say 600 after say nine months from today's date kind of thing. So how does it matter? So one, uh, uh, the whole money is not received by the startup as on current date, which has a time value of money, which is not very crucial. Uh, but more important is uh, generally when you look at like tranches, whenever investor gives you a tranche uh, based investment option, the tranches are generally linked to certain milestones, which you need to achieve. Uh, otherwise, the tranche could be delayed or be cancelled also depending on again how the uh, uh, how the agreement has been structured. So what are those various variables that could come into tranches? One could be just the time-based variable, which is still great because, so for example, as I mentioned, today you get 400K, another six months you just get 500K. So as soon as the six months goes off, a 500K is into your bank. But uh, the third one that I mentioned, say nine months from today's day, plus linked to certain amount of milestone. So at that point of time, after nine months from today's date, when you are trying to get that money, then uh, whatever milestones you guys had agreed on should be met. Otherwise the investor have the right to either delay it for say, a couple of more weeks if you think that it is doable then, or it could even be cancelled. The other risk that uh, investment tranche brings is like unforeseen scenarios. For, for example, like right now we are going through COVID times, right? And this is a very pandemic, a very unexpected uh, scenario that nobody has even anticipated. So suppose you had received the first tranche or the second tranche and the next tranche, the investor really believe, no, this is going to really be a game changer or the startup is not doing great. So that money is no more there. So once the money comes to the bank, then it is completely under the founders and the uh, startup control. Although, yeah, you cannot be spending it just like that. You need investor approvals and stuff. But again, it is like it is banked to, to the company. But when it comes in tranches, so till the time it's not there in your bank, it is not really your money. So, so these are some uh, downfalls of uh, investment tranche, but it is a great way of attracting investors because they also get confident, uh, okay, today, uh, although I've committed one and a half million dollar, but I am looking at how things are moving uh, and then only I'm releasing. So they feel much more confident about uh, executing the whole deal. So the chances of striking that investment deal is much more higher and faster. The second uh, uh, risk uh, for the founders could be in investment tranche. The only a little bit of downsiding is like the valuation that you agree on is uh, uh, is on today's date. So as I mentioned, like you're raising one and a half million dollar for say five million dollar valuation. So even if you are getting money say after six months or nine months, the equity or the stocks to the investor would be issued at current whatever agreed valuation is that is 1.5 by 5 million dollar it's not that every six or nine months whenever you are receiving the tranche uh, you are uh, doing a revaluation of that what is the fair value of the company at that point of time and then issuing equity but if the tranches are going to be longer and if there is a room that you believe uh, whatever today's date valuation is not the right valuation that we should be offering to. So that could be a negotiating point. And then based on it, like after two or three tranche, uh, you could always say that we will, we will issue equity to you at a fair valuation of the company. So, so that is, uh, 
another thing. The third thing that I would recommend to watch out for is basically uh, never issue shares to the investor for the complete amount. So, so as I mentioned, like one and a half million dollar for five million valuation, you are receiving only 400K. So don't allot the complete, uh, what say about uh, uh, 30 odd percentage uh, to the investor against 400K. So you should only give say 400K divided by 1.5 million dollar. That is almost about seven, seven and a half percentage of the company as on today's date or, or even lesser. Uh, 400K by 5 million, sorry. Uh, so it would be somewhere under yeah, about 7-8% of the company is what you should be suing. So, so the idea is uh, don't issue the equity because it would really be tough in case if the tomorrow's tranches gets cancelled, then your equity has already gone out. But if, uh, if the equity issuance is linked to uh, the receipt of money, then if you lose on the tranche, then you save on the equity component. So, so that's a very important thing. So make sure that whenever you are reviewing any shareholder agreement, make sure that all the equity allotments are only on receipt of the tranche amount, not as on today's day. So these are few very important aspects that you should be looking at whenever you are receiving investment through tranches. Otherwise, it could bring real challenges to you as you move along. That's it on uh, Elagan Whiteboard Friday today. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at hello at elagan.com. Thank you.